Uh, Rob, last couple of home games, uh, Sale and Bristol have certainly uh, pushed you hard. Has there been any element of you really need the five points in the way those games have played out particularly early? Oh, no, I, I don't think it is so much. I actually, it, it's, it's quite difficult to, to kind of put your finger on it completely as to why they've been tough battles, but you also got to give credit to the opposition. And we also need to remember that in some ways, those two oppositions and teams have come with, I'm not going to say nothing to lose because that's just not the case in any Premiership game, but actually, um, in a lot of ways, probably people aren't expecting them to come and and do well here and, and collecting points here and collecting potential wins and putting us under pressure they're all huge bonuses for the opposition and I think we've got to appreciate that a little bit I mean Bristol did some really some really good things on the day that would put us under pressure you know they showed a lot of line speed on the outside they actually played and went for interceptions they, they only kept one person in the backfield and kept 14 people in the front defensive line you know all of those things made it harder for us to play and obviously when we conceded the two interception tries and they got some pressure on the scoreboard obviously you know that creates a lot of energy and gives them something really to fight for and you know you've got to give credit to Bristol for that I can you know I can talk about Exeter all I like but the first part of that game a lot of the pressure that we were under was created by Bristol and the things they decided to do on the day and a little bit the same happened with Sale you know Sale showed a completely different defensive setup to the one that they'd shown three or four weeks earlier primarily because I think they came and said right we're going to we're going to risk trying something to see if it works and it for a period of the game it put us under a little bit of pressure but the, the good thing is we've dealt with both of them. You know, the sale one we dealt with by upping our intensity. Uh, the, the game against Bristol, we dealt with by continuing to work hard and not getting dented and, uh, and maintaining our composure and maintaining our discipline and doing what we do. And eventually, you know, we got the five point wins. But I wouldn't say that we felt under pressure to get five points. You know, we're, we're enjoying collecting bonus points and we're enjoying scoring tries. And it's, it's a fundamental part of what we're about, but it, it's not creating any extra pressure on us. Uh, obviously, everybody understands the importance of finishing the top two because of the home advantage. How important to you is it to try and finish top, though, and presumably, therefore, well, you will avoid Saris and Wasps, won't you? I, mean, I think I think this is where people need to just you kind of. I, and I know there's a, there's obviously a. You always want to try and finish as high at the league as you can, and uh, if you can't finish first, you should want to finish second. You know that that's the way it should be for uh, any club or any sports person who, who wants to be successful but we're not we're not wrapped up in a home semi-final being the be all and end all for us you know we've gone a lot of games unbeaten now and half of those have been away from home so that that part of it doesn't unduly worry me what i'm more concerned about is just how we train day by day how we go into each game the quality we show you know are we still looking like we're on the upward curve physically you know are we prepared to really work hard in each game and actually you know the bristol game was a perfect example that you know we've worked as hard in that game as any other premiership game you know fair play to bristol they made as well at that but we were prepared to work you know we didn't decide to suddenly you know that this was going to be too much hard work and, and crumble you know, we decided to work up very hard and we came through and those are great signs for me and it's going to be the same going into Harlequins. I'm, I'm looking at this very much as a, as a one-off game. It should be an exciting, exciting fixture on a Friday night in London, live on TV, big crowd, you know, on its own it's a really, really big thing and it should be something we're, we're really looking forward to. You know, we've, we've got a good unbeacon record, we should be fighting to keep, you know, we've, I think we've got bonus point wins in our last kind of five games and, you know, we actually should be upbeat and very excited about this weekend and, and that's what I don't want us to do. I don't want us to, I almost want us to get into the stage where we're worried about losing because it's something that hasn't happened for a while and it, and it starts to stop us playing. You know, I've, I've said to the guys, you know, we have thrown a few interceptions recently but we mustn't, we mustn't clam up. Because if we climb up, anyone can defend against us. You know, we've got to be prepared to, to work and play. Yes, we've got to make good individual decisions as we're doing it. But actually, now is the time to be to be strong and to be brave and, and make sure we keep working hard at doing the things that have got us to where we are. Obviously, you'll be looking to win your remaining games, but do you feel you do need bonus point wins from all of them, or is that just too difficult to, to say? Oh, there's no way of telling. I mean, obviously, mathematically at this stage, we need a bonus point win from every game to ensure second place, and that's completely in our hands. You know, realistically, is that going to is that going to happen? It, it, obviously, it's going to be a tough ask. We've got some tough fixtures. Obviously, we don't know how other fixtures are going to pan out for other people. For me, as I said, it's just about preparing really well day by day. Um, and, and then when we go after the game, we put a game plan together and we try and execute it as hard as we can. And if opportunities come to score tries, fantastic. If they don't, they don't. But as I've said, you know, we'll, we'll deal with what we can deal with. We've got a, we've got a semi-final place now. You know, I think sometimes we need to remember that. And, and a lot of what needs to happen to, between now and that semi-final is us making sure that mentally and physically we're exactly where we need to be. Now, whether that ends up being home or away, 
is not the biggest issue to me. I'd love it to be at home, but primarily because it's a reward for the players and a reward for our supporters more than anything else. And obviously the finances are important, but I think you know sports a bit bigger than that. It's, it is about rewarding the people around you and, uh, and doing what you want for the for the area and your supporters and. And as I said, the players' families it's all very, makes it all a lot more comfortable for them. But, but, in, but as far as I'm concerned, we're in the top four, we're in the semi-final. That's going to be a huge game. And whether we play at home, whether we go away, and who we play is not the biggest concern for me. The biggest concern is with Nick Waring. I suppose the fascinating thing with the run is that you would normally work on the assumption that Wasps and Saracens will win all their remaining games. But of course, they play each other on the final day, don't they? That's right. And so there is the there is that kind of look ahead that not everyone just not everyone in the top three can collect maximum points so that's why it is interesting that it's in our hands uh, kind of where we can end up um, and I like that I like the fact that it's in our hands and I'm hoping that'll bring the best qualities out of us the last couple as I said the last two premiership games it kind of has it's brought some really good fighting qualities out of us has it been the the most exhilarating and the most accurate and the most perfect rugby that we've ever played as a club it's not but I think this time of year it gets rare for games to be like that. You know, you look across the whole Premiership season, at uh, the whole Premiership this weekend, and there was quite a lot of games that were seesawing. You know, you, you think if you look at the Wasps Northampton game, that was seesawing right to the last minute. You know, the the, the Leicester Bath game was was a very close game for a long time. You know, it isn't just our fixtures that are, that are ending up like this. And I think that's what we've got to be comfortable with. We've got to be comfortable with as long as we train well and we show good qualities that will come through more times than not.